Superintendent Dr. Dusty Blakey knew he had two good opportunities to showcase two great programs when the district hosted a breakfast for the Newcastle County Chamber of Commerce. First, the Middle School Culinary Arts Program at George Reed. So students in grades 6 through 8 served up their best, giving visitors a mouth-watering surprise to start their day. It's delicious. We were talking a little bit in the line that they've learned how to prepare the food, but they're also learning how to plan how to cook for this many people and, and the logistics of getting it all together the day before and all that. So I'm impressed because the math they have to know and the ratios and all that to prepare the right amount of food for a quantity of people, it's great. Blakey also wanted visitors to see the updated school-based health center at Eisenberg Elementary School. The Wellness Center, currently the first and only such center in an elementary school in the state, has been around for approximately three years and is designed to service the physical and mental health needs for students at Eisenberg that other school professionals cannot. Colonial, its partners, the Life Health Center and Nemours, along with several other groups, hope to influence a change in regulations that will allow school-based health centers to service multiple schools within the district. What is unique about what we do here is we um, encompass all three sides of health, which is the physical, mental, and the social service side of it. We do physicals, immunizations, minor um, cultures, and then um, lab tests like strep throat cultures, um, lead tests, things of that nature that they wouldn't get if they didn't have a primary care. Mental health, what we do is we identify certain things, we diagnose kids. To be able to have services on site where kids can get early interventions that could potentially right, help to um, reduce loss of time out of the classroom and schools and also available to their families I think is a wonderful asset to not just the school but to the community. Our parents need an opportunity to come to a place where they can really make sure that their uh, children are getting the supports that they need during the school day. So um, the center is fantastic. I mean, it's amazing to me that they have converted a classroom into this facility. It's, it's just wonderful to see. took center stage along with an entire cast of characters, all students at Gunning Bedford Middle School, now Colonial School for the Performing Arts. We have about 80 students that are a part of our cast and crew this year, and then we have another 50 or so students who work with their teachers in classrooms to put together sets and costumes and props, and they help to build things, and it all comes together as a school-wide event. It's amazing. I think it's just amazing that we're able to put something uh, like a production like this on at our school and it's amazing being with the cast every day and being able to show it to everybody. Yeah, I think it's funny, it's entertainment. It's amazing, it's incredible, it's nice, it's real nice. Although nervous, they're excited and I think the excitement is probably coming out the most right now. They're doing great, they're doing great. It's a lot of work and a lot of responsibility because like you're focused on learning your lines and your songs and making sure you remember your blocking and then but still with all that you still have schoolwork and homework and other school stuff so it's a lot but it's fun. I think our kids have the capability to go as far as they want to go and they put the dedication and the time in to do some really great things. Middle school students are taking center stage both inside and outside of the classroom. That's it for this edition of Keeping Up with Colonial. I'm Lauren Wilson, your public information officer for the Colonial School District.